men and women are not equal. We need to start celebrating those differences. And so when you interact with a woman, you need to come across and say, you know what? I believe in equal opportunity, but I'm different than you. I am a man. You are a woman. You have your you strengths know, and I have my strength. Handing women or getting into the mind state of women, that's difficult as it seems. But I think there's three things that we can begin to understand, begin to explore, begin to navigate that will help us understand not only women, but ourselves a little bit better. First of all, women think they are equal as men, equal to men in all areas. And there's a number of contributing factors that led to this. But I believe, you know, one of those, them joining the workforce, them kind of being on a level playing ground with men, brought about this mind state that I'm equal to man in all areas. And I'll preface this with saying that I, I believe Everybody deserves equal opportunity, regardless of race, sex, gender, what have you. We all deserve the chance to become the best that we want at the most optimal level. Now, when we start trying to convolute those areas of differences and create this gray area, we come up with a convoluted nonsense of where we do all think we are literally equal in every area. And so women think she stands on the exact same ground as men. We start looking into those differences to try to collapse them instead of celebrating the differences. Man is this, woman is this, and we hold those differences on a pedestal and applaud them. Nah, we want to collapse those, bring those down, and build something new where we're all the same. We see this nonsense in the transgender community of trans women trying to compete against women or trans men. I don't even know the terminology. But we've knocked down any sense of direction and we're all kind of wandering around like zombies. Who the hell am I? We see effeminate men. We see masculine men. And we wonder why this carries over, pours over, spills over into the dating area and interactions with men and women and where it's just confusing. And we're like, eh. And so kind of both of them are walking away because they're not getting what they expect because women truly think they are fully equal in all areas of men. And so we've got to begin to understand this. It's almost as if women in today's age are indoctrinated with this nonsense. You can stand up and be just like men. And so it's creating this confusion of ah, an identity crisis, if you will. So when we begin to have interactions with women, we have to be fully aware coming into that relationship that, hey, maybe she's thinking that she stands on solid ground with me in every thing. We see this in a feminist movement, women screaming for equal rights across the board, but how many percentage of those are working in the dangerous jobs? Are they physically capable? Are they mentally even wanting to do that, yet they cry for equality? So, Men and women are not equal. We need to start celebrating those differences. And so when you interact with a woman, you need to come across and say, you know what? I believe in equal opportunity, but I'm different than you. I am a man. You are a woman. You have your strengths and I have my strengths. And I believe that's going to play in a healthy relationship and interaction when we come across the board with that. Second, although I am independent and I don't need no man, but... Women have this innate, intrinsic, biological nature that wants man, rightfully so. I'm a man. I desire women. Women desire men. And so in interaction, we need to come across and say, you know what? This is rightfully so. I'm man. I desire you. You're woman. You desire me. Outside of all the bullshit and the modernity chaos, if I'm supposed to be this and you're supposed to be that, I want you. You want me. When we understand that, it helps the relationship transform into something smooth. We both desire each other outside of the I'm independent and this and that and the world's trying to sell women. You can do it on your own. You don't need a man. Women desire men. We begin to understand that it helps the relationship go along a little more smoothly. Third, women want better. Rightfully so. Men want better too. That's in our nature to level up. We want better shelter. We want better careers, better finances, better relationships. We want better. But we've lost that logical sense that I should get what I deserve we think we deserve it without having to do anything. We think we deserve the highest standard without having to meet the privilege. I deserve it just because we see this entitled age where I'm oppressed if I don't get my way. We all think we are a 10 out of 10 Instagram model that deserves one. Here's the harsh reality. I'm a six. My finances are a six. Maybe my personality is a six and a half. So I need to go find me a great six and a half and there's nothing wrong with that. And there's nothing wrong with aiming for the stars, but if I'm only putting the effort to get to the treetops, there's something wrong with that. Now, we can get to the stars or we can get somewhere up there, but we have to start putting in the effort to climb those rungs of the ladder that get us there. And many a modern woman doesn't want to do that. Why? Because social media has a hundred simps simping over 
for her a day and she thinks she's a 10 when in reality she's a 6. And then we have this social movement and feminism movement and all the other movements that are teaching us to be oppressed because you deserve it without having to do anything. And so women, for the most part, a lot of them in this day and age have been indoctrinated with this bullshit. So when having interactions, relationships with women, we have to be fully aware that, hey, this woman thinks she's fully equal to me across the board. So I have to come in there fully uh, aware of that and recognizing that so that I can help navigate that. But she truly wants me. Women want men. It's in her nature. But third, she's wanting to level up. So when we come in knowing these three things, we can say, hey, here's where we're different. You're strong in this area. I'm strong in this area. There's nothing wrong with that. We don't have to be fully equal. I know you desire me. I desire you. Let's go with that and build a smooth transaction. And third, I know you want to level up. You want the best man possible. This is where you're at in life. This is where I'm at. Can we meet there and start climbing together? And I think when we are aware of these three uh, mentalities and mindsets of women. It not only benefits them, it benefits us in any interactions we have because we know what they're thinking. We know how to interact with that. We know how to play off that. We know where we're going. I know you desire me. I know you want the best. Here's where we're different. Here's where we're equal. Can we build a relationship upon this foundation? And when we bring that to the table, we'll not only benefit them, it'll benefit us in the long term. We won't have this headache of nonsense and bullshit. Love and respect, gentlemen. Women are different. Men and women are not the same. We're not equal, but we do desire each other, and we should come together in this beautiful dynamic relationship where we level up together. I'm not a 10 Instagram model, so I can't get a 10 Instagram model today, but I can still reach for the stars by putting in the effort today. You guys will hear from me next episode.